when James pulled our group together and we started talking about, you know, all kind of, many of us had worked together in different capacities, but when kind of pulled us together and talked about, hey, we're all passionate about being excellent at what we do, about process, about people, we can, we can do this thing. We really focused on the quality and really wanted something better for our clients. They were paying a lot of money, not getting the quality, and then we also knew the, knew the problems that the employees were having, which is the construction market can be a rough, rough trade. We decided, hey, we can do this. We can do this better. We can provide the quality. We can provide a good place for the employees to learn and uh, develop new skills. Being in the electrical trade, you have four years to be in the field of on-the-job training to become a journeyman electrician. And with that, we support a four-year apprenticeship program. We're always hiring people to come into our program, and we like to bring people in that are completely green, don't know the trade, so we can train them in our process. With that, we were starting to donate, spend time with different charities. We realized that they had some candidates that were coming out of their program looking for jobs. And so that's where we decided, let's test this out. And uh, we started this pre-apprenticeship program. So the guys come to us from some of the varied programs. Not only are they learning everything, they're kind of putting their lives together too. They learn their tools. They learn what, the, what it takes to go out on the job site. And then when we send them out, they're ready to go. They're ready to be a part of Wayfield. It's really been just giving these guys just an opportunity that you you care for them, and you, you, you say, guys, I got you 40 hours, I got you health insurance, and um, they've never had that opportunity before, so it's, it's just rewarding. Life has its challenges, things kind of change, and uh, ended up uh, getting a felony, and uh, it's kind of hard getting a job as a felon. As an addict, um, it's hard to, to get back into society and reintegrate, to get with a good company. It's a tough road. I bumped my head quite a few times, uh, got some drug charges, uh, some DUIs, and um, honestly, I don't think that I'd, I'd be here with such a, a great future ahead of me without Wayfield. I just bought a house, literally a month ago. Um, you just paid off my vehicle. Um, you know, things are, things are looking very positive. Just, they're ready to make a change in their life. You see that switch where, hey, I've made some bad decisions in the past, but this company believes in me, and they're giving me a future, and they're investing in me, when a lot of people wouldn't hire me before. Um, it's kind of this, you see it click. We've got 300 employees right now, and if you equate that out, there's you know 600 people that we're, we're affecting, and we're affecting families. You know, God gives you different giftings, and if you have that business gifting and you can excel within business, you can capture a big audience. Being in that position where you can have an area of influence um, and affect people positively is really powerful. For us, it's kind of evolved over time, figuring out what is our culture gonna be, who are we gonna be. You know, we want people to do well here. We want them to retire well. Uh, we want them to feel like they're a part of something bigger. And so setting that vision and what are we doing in the next five years? What's our role or responsibility in the community? How are we serving? How are we giving back? We're all blessed with all these talents, you know? How do you do something bigger than build a building? I view that the workplace, everybody spends time there, right? So many hours a week. And so how can you make a difference by um, being consistent and showing people just in your actions that you care and can be present with your time because um, I think when you build relationship then that's when people trust you and you can talk a little bit more about your faith what you believe in and with all the connections that we have um, focusing on giving back and serving and connecting with community groups and charities it takes it to this other level so we're affecting families we're affecting community groups and it starts to build on each other and it's a it's a beautiful thing